Good morning my friends, welcome back to a new vlog. This is my oil dispenser. Um, basically you put uh, essential oil inside, there is some water, you put essential oils in and then uh, you plug it in and uh, it comes out the steam with the perfume with the scent of the oil that you put in and also here um, it changed the color so you can when you switch it on it has got all the rainbow i have had this uh, for quite uh, a few years a couple of years three years maybe now um, indeed it has got still the european plug when we were living in france but now I have washed it inside because it got all moldy and uh, I don't have the impression that it works anymore. Um, unfortunately with these things after a while uh, the electronic just uh, breaks down. Is uh, gonna go, is gonna be recycled in the recycling center. I am instead going to use this one, old fashioned, ancient, uh, trustworthy uh, method of uh, lighting up a tea light. You've got a little bit of water. I usually keep here in my drawer. Um, some essential oils this one frankincense i've just finished the patchouli one which i loved as well very much so in the evening i light the tea light on i put a few drops of um, frankincense oil and i let the room get all the smell just before i go to bed and i think um, i find that this one smells nicer the other one was not doing any smell anymore and then you can see the tea light uh, from all this uh, little decoration here this one is uh, called soap stone soap stone because apparently is um, very is a stone that is soft i think so i don't want to uh, be wrong but anyway i like this kind of stone it's quite heavy this one lift up i think i bought this in brighton um, when we first moved uh, to the uk with the girls uh, a couple of years ago maybe it was three years ago so i bought this one and a few other things or maybe i bought it in france no, I think I bought it in France. Anyway, I don't remember anyway. And then I have always on my nightstand table my salt lamp, which um, I light up in the evening. And it looks really lovely with, um, with this one together. They look really nice in the evening. It gives that little nice vibe, cozy vibe that helps me fall asleep a bit easier. The children are having their treat, their vegan treat that they love more than anything else. Mm? Is it nice? We just arrived at the care home, and um, yeah, even these are the child. They're in the shade, and they will be waiting here outside while um, we say hello the lovely lady who's here yeah you stay here for a enjoy that because there are some beautiful gardens and they always get to run around there and then all the residents in the care home they really love the girls um, and 
is like fresh air for them uh, to see the girls uh, and to cuddle them and stroke them and uh, now I'm here with my friend and we are going um, to a restaurant in Brighton so we should be there in a couple of hours and we have a table booked in one of my favorite plant-based restaurants in Brighton which is the Round the Hill. Now we have been a few times because the cuisine, the way they cook things is really really nice, is another level. It's very, uh, they do very beautiful dishes and they're very tasty, very different from the usual plant-based. It's not just a salad or a vegetable, they're really elaborate dishes. Uh, so that's why we like to go there and uh, try and experiment new things. And um, we go there with the girls. The girls are always welcome there and they enjoy their time there. And if we have time, we'll have a walk around um, and I will show you what we have for lunch. The girls are well striped in. They have their security belt on. Laya is on that side. They're having a snooze. And we are heading to Brighton. Uh, yeah, happy to go to the beach. We just arrived at the Round Hill and we are sitting outside and uh, I've got a child sitting here next to mommy and we're gonna have lunch now we're gonna choose the menu we're gonna see what we are going to order Alaya what should we order gorgeous what do you fancy mm? some roasted mushrooms some seitan grilled seitan beautiful mm. Let's see what the menu offer. The food has arrived. I have ordered a burger, a vegan burger, with the French fries and red cabbage. And my friends have ordered this um, Buddha bowl. Delicious. Cheers, everyone. Bon appétit.
And of course, we are having a dessert, uh, caramel cheesecake and then uh, raspberry torte for me. But we're gonna share it. Look how pretty are these spoons. We decide of vegan ice cream. <laughs> Someone else is gonna appreciate that. Someone else is going no like Mummy, very very happily don't you didn't you but this is my bedroom I am sure that while mommy was out to do some shopping someone has been on the bed can we see the proof the proof of someone being on the bed mommy's bed let's see if there is some usually Laia sits here on the windowsill and then she looks outside and she waits to see mommy coming but anyway yeah we'll have to give it a little clean otherwise yeah was it you probably both of you okay my friends I'm going to show you what I have bought in in a quick uh, yeah, you can see I already have plenty of cardboard boxes that have been delivered. The big ones are the wardrobe boxes where I can put the wardrobes to be moved for the move. And these are medium. Actually, I thought they were small, but maybe they're called medium. And then, uh, yeah, plenty more of cardboard. So I need to start packing soon. I just wanted to show you what I quickly bought. I have already removed the tag so Molly can appreciate. I wanted to give it to her as soon as I arrived home. And what is this beautiful thing that I found in, uh, was it in Primark? Yeah, in Primark upstairs where the children department is. There are some toys. And this one, I knew she would have loved it. it <laughs> I knew she would have loved it because because it's very very squishy and it makes you want to squish it even more <laughs> and that's what she's doing with her mouth and that usually she loves that she loves soft toys because she does that um, 
And after my experience never to come back home with only one toys, I also bought this one in um, Poundland. So I went to Primark and then to Poundland just to buy a few things. And in Poundland or uh, in Primark, this one, I bought this one. This is uh, <laughs> what I call the dolphin. The dolphin uh, in the reality is, a, I think, is a shark. You can see it's, a, it's supposed to be a shark, I suppose. But let's say it's a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, she loves the dolphin. She loves the dolphin so much, this child. Mm, this beautiful baby, baby girl. Mm. So, mommy couldn't have given her a better present. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful dolphin. This one, what a beautiful, gorgeous smile! Gorgeous smile! Mm? <laughs> couldn't be any better. Gorgeous. Oish. 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 So, in um, Poundland, uh, I have found this because I didn't want to give just one present to one and not to the other one. So uh, each of them have got one present, although Molly seems to have uh, got uh, possession of both of them. Uh, anyway, this is an owl. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, so I don't want to teach Molly the wrong pronunciation. Yeah, good girl, Laya, good girl. You've got one as well. Good girl, Laya, the owl. Not sure if it's owl, owl or however you pronounce this one. I need to ask a friend and then um, I will be able to pronounce it correctly to teach Molly. But the dolphin, where is the dolphin? Where is the dolphin? Yeah, the dolphin. Yeah, the dolphin, we learned it, we know already. <laughs> Laia is playing with the other one. Oh, that's good, that's good, coming back home and seeing the children are happy. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, just quickly, this is my recyclable bag. This bag is wonderful. Uh, it was a, a friend of mine when I was living in London and house sharing and she uh, lovely, she gave it to me, I don't know why, for what reason, but anyway, I got possession of this bag uh, and uh, since then I've always kept it in my bag, it's so practical, uh, it, there is a lot of stuff that you can put in it, so I'm affectionate. So I bought this, these uh, tissues tissues they're very practical um, because I already take off this one It's only one pound in Poundland otherwise at the supermarket they are one pound sixty one pound fifty so yeah if you use this cube uh, tissues then uh, they are cheaper in Poundland also this biscoff biscuits I'm trying not to eat any sugar at the moment, uh, but they are definitely worth it. In Poundland, they're only one pound. Everything I bought, except from the Primark, in Poundland, everything is um, I bought is one pound. Against this toothpaste, because it's actually very, very good and it leaves the teeth uh, very white. I think I bought another one. Um, I'm looking for some um, uh, cruelty-free, possibly vegan uh, toothpaste, uh, but at the moment I haven't found it yet, and this is the best uh, that I'm using at the moment. This one is 300 cotton buds that you can use to clean your ears or also for makeup. Uh, so 300 for only one pound, I thought that was a good uh, purchase. Kitchen foil is one pound 18 meters. I'm not sure if this is a good bargain because I know it at the supermarket in Tesco is one pound 20. So, and this is one pound, but I think the one in Tesco is a bit longer. So not sure about that. But anyway, I was there, I need it, so I bought it. I also, okay, this one comes from Holland and Barrett, sorry, uh, is uh, some that has nothing to do with Poland or, um, or Primark but it's pea protein I've seen this one and I wanted to buy it for a while um, because my girls they do a lot of exercise really really a lot of exercise um, I think they need a little bit more protein than other dogs that wouldn't exercise that much so I thought to pop into their rice or their biscuits to sparkle some of this pea protein thing and see how it goes and while I was in Holland and Barrett I could not resist to this um, pix what is this 
uh, it's vegan and there is no palm oil and I'm really happy to see finally some uh, products with no palm oil because here in the UK palm oil is not actually is normal everyone use palm oil while in other countries like Italy for sure and I'm sure in Germany as well has been forbidden and like you can't use it in food uh, here is in every biscuit they use palm oil anyway I was curious to try this um, uh, biscuit this thing and I know I just said I want to limit my consumption of sugars um, but hey this is a different flavor this is chunky hazelnut chocolate square and this is um, not chunky crunchy salted caramel uh, chocolate squares so i am really really curious to try these then in primark i bought these ones has the slippers to use at home these ones they were five pounds but i think five pounds is a bit too much they were reduced to three pounds three pounds I think they're nice. They goes with the jeans. They goes with everything. I like, I like to be like well dressed even when I'm at home. Forgive my toenails; they don't have any nail polish. But anyway, I thought they were nice. And uh, for three pounds, um, I always use slippers when I'm at home. So and then I bought three t-shirts three not one three because i love this color i love this color so much i bought one in medium to be a bit larger a bit more baggy baggy style and then two a bit more fitted two small ones i literally i've always wanted to buy this color and i could never find it in the shops especially because um with fashion you have um fashion trends and uh, so maybe other colors are on fashion and so that color has never been on fashion and therefore you'll never see in shops i love this color so much um and uh, yeah would love to buy other things and these t-shirts from primark are something i always use because i think they're practical and yeah it's very good i i, I live in those ones um also this one comes from sainsbury's but is uh, a squidgy uh, it's called a squidgy is to clean the shower because in the new house there is a shower and i am going to make um, look at this child how lovely it is she's enjoying her new toy so much i knew she would i knew as soon as i saw that dolphin as soon as i saw that dolphin i knew she would have loved it yeah because she loves squeaky it's not squeaky because it doesn't make any sound. I would love it to make some sound. Maybe she has already destroyed. But anyway, for three pounds fifty, it looks nice, and um, at least I can put in the washing machine the other two uh, because yeah, they need a wash. So I'm gonna do um, makeover. Is a shower room makeover because it does need. Um, some painting and some changing is a bit older the shower room that is there at the moment and then uh, toothpaste uh, and then this is to clean um, the denture i don't wear a denture but i wear um, a guard at night time for uh, my teeth and so during the day i clean with that one um, some tape because as we all know i am going to pack up my whole house and then something i needed i actually needed the ruler momo don't don't break it oh are we already breaking it are we already breaking it oh you are already breaking it's not to break amore hmm? no let's not break it gorgeous hmm? let's not break it is she your new friend? Is she your new friend? New friend! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, re I really needed a ruler because uh, um, my ruler hasn't got numbers anymore, they've gone. This one in Poundland, in Poundland, for one pound you have the ruler, a pen, a pencil, uh, a pencil sharpener and this little pouch which I actually really like and I thought I could keep the pouch in my bag and put and keep maybe some lip balm um, tissues uh, so in this 
pouch in my bag. I thought with one pound I get a few things. So yeah, this is what I purchased. Not gorgeous, let's not break it. It's so lovely, it's so lovely. Uh, don't think it has got long lasting life, this dolphin. Mm. This dolphin, what about the other one, mommy bought? What about the other one? I, I knew that would be your favorite, I knew. That one, instead, the owl, is um, on purpose for dogs, but they're not interested. Where is Laya? Oh, Laya. Oh, Laya. Where is your bone? Where is your bone? Oh, no, no, no. 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 She's looking for her bone. It's good that everyone has got something to chew. I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't spoil my girls that much. Also, my friends, I don't know if I have shown it to you, but this is the garden. After yesterday, I spent all day cutting the grass and it was a super sunny day, uh, like today. Someone is appreciating the effort that mommy did yesterday. I did cut the grass and it took me a while because uh, my lawn mower, lawn lower, uh, well, the thing that used to cut the grass is not very powerful and therefore it's not doing a good job. Uh, anyway, uh, it was cheap, so I did manage in the end and, uh, and yes, this is the result. Now it's all nice uh, and you can see over there there were big plants. It took me ages, but uh, anyway, I had uh, a lovely day yesterday in the garden and I'm so happy of the results. It looks nice and uh, tidy. It looks so much better like this. Oh, it's very pretty. Anyway, uh, it's not my garden because we are renting, so the next one will be even better. Mm.